And finally tonight, we have some exciting new Mormon slang. Now, wh- Mike, why, one of my favorites. why do you got to bring religion into it? You know damn well why. You know damn well, we've and we've discussed them on the show before, the rumors that surround BYU and BYUI. <laughs> Co-eds. Right. Well, and not only that, but we're we're only using it to describe what subculture these terms happen to be big in. Exactly. You know? And I defended the LDS religion and the churchgoers and the fine co-eds at mm-hmm. church campuses uh, because I don't mm-hmm. believe these are true. Right. It's sort of like those, I don't know, Devil's mm-hmm. Dictionary, Cleveland Steamer, Rusty Fishhook definitions that are funny to, you know, 15-year-old boys. Right, right. But I don't think actually happen. Mm -hmm. Just to recap what we said last time. (laughs) So let's get to it. Exciting new Mormon sex slang. There's a dude going around interviewing co-eds. And here's the first clip. What's the craziest thing that's happened to you at BYUI? Someone asked me to shake the bed for soaking once. And what'd you say? Gotta help your friends out sometimes. So the interviewer is obviously, he's wearing a BYU-Idaho hoodie, I believe. And he's going around what appears to be campus, mm-hmm. but do you buy that that's the BYU-Idaho campus? Because I do not. I don't know. Okay. there. Even if it were, there is no way in that outfit she's a co-ed. Exactly. Especially not one on campus. Right. So, <laughs> and, and we're going to play a few more of these because I think they're obviously staged. Well, and also I'm pretty sure that if she were caught in that outfit, even outside of campus, that uh, violates their... Um, their moral code. Okay. And so she'd probably get in trouble at school. So um, she says that she shakes the bed while her friends are soaking <laughs> or something. And, and uh, she's, she's offering the assist. <laughs> she, yeah. She says, you got to help your out, your friends out sometime. Here's the next clip. What do you think about soaking? I personally think it's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Do you think a better descriptor is the Provo push or the Provo pump? The Provo shake. It takes place in a library. <laughs> and, um, they call that the uh, Provo Shake, I guess. Yeah, uh, not the Harlem Shake. Right, very different. <laughs> it, the Provo Shake is just. <laughs> <laughs> There's no beat that drops during the Provo Shake. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, they just hold still. <laughs> Next clip. <laughs> Let everyone else do everything. <laughs> What's your craziest experience with mutual? So I went on a mutual date one time. A month later, he was engaged. He was more wanting to just derf, but I was down for derfing. So apparently she's DTD, (laughs) down to DERF, is the word that she used there. Uh, yeah, no idea what that is. Okay, it's, it's dry humping with clothes on. Oh. It's what, it's what teens have been doing. Just dry humping? Yeah, but it's got a new word now because everything does, because skibbity toilet. Right, right. And uh, Riz. riz. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) yeah. (laughs) So, Gen Alphas. <laughs> okay, so what do we have so far? We've got Durf, we've got the Provo Shake. Uh, but, and, and then just check out this last video because this is, I believe, sort of evidence that um, they're all completely staged. Everybody's in on the joke and they're just having some fun. Have you ever watched a radar movie? No. No. Why not? I couldn't go to heaven if I did. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> well, and when I first watched that clip, I thought for sure that that guy's ears were pierced. Uh-huh. They weren't, which ruined my entire point, but that's fine. But he looks like he would, you know, like his style. <laughs> well, and go back and re- rewind the show a little bit if you want to, if you're watching on YouTube. Mm-hmm. And um, you, the guy on the left has got his eyes like yeah. insanely crossed. Yeah. He's just like actively looking like a dirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So... You crazy kids, and you're soaking and shaking and jump pumping and derfing. <laughs> Good grief. Having a lot of fun on the internet, are we? Just Yikes. <laughs> be careful, because soaking leads to derfing, leads to going down to Yellowstone. So just... <laughs>